Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're checking out Kinu's Simplicity Hand Grinder. This is a middle of the range Kinu hand grinder, but pretty much has everything the absolute top end M47 Kinu Classic has, with the substitute of a few ABS plastic elements, which brings this grinder's total weight down to 965 grams. Now to quickly demonstrate how this grinder performs, I have an 18 gram dose of lightly roasted coffee that I'm gonna grind on the Simplicity to something I would use for say a small V60 brew. That's about a medium fine setting. The Simplicity can grind up to 40 grams of beans at a time and will grind across the full range of brewing methods, including Turkish coffee, espresso brewing, mocha pot and pour overs like V60 and Chemex, as well as immersion brewers like the AeroPress and French Press. Of course, it'll take longer to grind the finer you go, but for what it's worth, you can be done grinding before the kettle has even reached 94 degrees Celsius. Now you can see there's a very consistent grind here. It's homogenous in size and I've barely made an effort to grind that. And that grind consistency really lends itself to a flavor clarity as well as a sweetness that's highlighted from start to finish with using the Kinu grinder. So let's go from top to bottom on the Simplicity and check out its features. Putting this grinder together when you receive it, you just need to unscrew the top locking nut Slide the metal handle through the drive hub and then screw the locking nut back down to secure the handle. This also locks down your grind size adjustment for later. Now the pommel on the handle is a good size to grip onto and the length of the handle itself has the leverage needed in assisting grinding lighter roasted or harder denser beans, making it almost effortless. And there's a real fluid action to the handle, being completely silent with very little wobble. I found it a real pleasure to grind with. The drive hub has an indicator on it that provides you the mark to determine where your grind setting is. And a detail that's often overlooked on the Kinus is that this drive hub has been machined to always go on the right way. In my experience with the Kinu Simplicity, there has a zero point marked. But if it's not spot on zero, essentially the zero point is when both burrs touch. And this is an important factor in first setting your grinder up, but also a great reference point if you make large grind changes or jump between brew methods, then you'll always have a good starting point when changing grind settings. And one thing I enjoy about the Kinu grinders are that you can change the grind quite quickly on the fly from up top on the grind change adjustment wheel. And this is a stepless grinder, meaning you have a full range of movement and are not locked in to any specific setting. So you have the full potential to dial in your coffees to perfection and make sure it's delicious. There are 50 markings to a full rotation on the adjustment wheel, and Kinu has methodically provided the exact distance the burrs move with each marking. So at one one hundredth of a millimeter, you'll definitely want to rotate the adjustment wheel at least once, if not two full rotations to begin grinding with the Simplicity. And you can check out the description down below as I've included some of our recommended grind settings for brew methods down there. And to quickly explain how to interpret Kinu grind settings, you'll generally see three numbers. The first number correlates to how many rotations are made from the zero point. The second number relates to the numbers seen on the wheel, so adjust to the number after your full rotations. And then the third number relates to the four markings found between each of the numbers. And if you don't see the second or third number on your setting, it just means that there are no further adjustments required. This approach to the settings I find very repeatable and you will discover that the grind settings are universal across all the Kinu grinders. So this should help you share your preferred grind settings for brews and also replicate other brewers recipes and make dialing in a breeze. In loading beans into the Simplicity, the ABS plastic funnel has a generous lip and opening that makes it easier to load a dose without too much concern for beans bouncing out. The body or hopper is made from really solid steel and there's an upper and lower steel bracket that look huge on the inside and they hold multiple steel ball bearings in place. So this grinder really is built like a tank and there's absolutely no burr wobble or body torsion when grinding on the Simplicity. Taking a look at the burrs, they are held in place by a steel drive axle and spring. And the Kinu Simplicity uses 47 millimeter steel conical burrs, much larger than a majority of other hand grinders. And these are black fusion treated burrs, which helps keep the burrs sharper for longer. 
The Kinu Simplicity Grinder performs very well at the finer end of the grinding spectrum. Well suited to espresso grinding, so you may notice less consistency in the grinds at a coarser grind setting, where you might be brewing say a French press or a larger batch style coffee, but I really haven't found any taste concerns here. The Simplicity Grind Catcher can hold 40 grams in it, and it's made from ABS plastic. Now there is a small lip on the inside of the catcher which does interfere a small amount with getting your dose out, as well as there's static that can build up around the cup and the bottom of the grinder. So if you're not aware of it, then you may find it getting a little messy. But on a positive note, I did find it also lifts out some of that silver skin from your grinds. Now the catcher seals quite tight to the body of the grinder with a small o-ring, and there are further two o-rings included as replacements. During grinding, there is a neat thumb stop on the outside of the grinder, which helps with any slipping in the hands during grinding. But I've actually preferred to tuck my pointer finger around this, kind of like holding a trigger. It's a small detail that adds to the overall caliber and ease of grinding with the simplicity. And to take good care of your grinder, you'll want to clean it pretty regularly. Taking apart the Kinu involves unscrewing the top nut, removing the handle and the drive hub, unscrewing the adjustment wheel and then slowly lowering the drive shaft out the bottom of the grinder to access the burrs and the inside of the body. I would keep the areas around the top free of any grinds or dust buildup and taking cloth to all the parts before placing it back together. But you definitely don't want to be using any water whilst cleaning it. And that's the Kinu Simplicity Hand Grinder for you. This is a high performing grinder that proves itself to be very precise and consistent in settings and grind sizes. And it's just an absolute pleasure to use. I'd have no trouble recommending this grinder to anyone looking for a heightened experience with a manual coffee grinder and want the very best for their coffee. But if you have any questions on the Kinu Simplicity, then throw them in the comments section below and we'll get straight back to you. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. But if you've enjoyed this video, there's a thumbs up button for that. Thanks for following and we'll see you next time.